Welcome back to Peterson Auto. Today we're going to do another tool tips video here. Um, these don't seem to be too popular yet, but you know, uh, the first couple ones were the basics. The pickle fork really hit it off, so I think we're going to cover something that's uh, not quite as common today again. Um, so we're looking at a bunch of files here. Files are one of those things that are fairly miscommonly used, and I think we're going to cover them simply because most people have a set of files. They know you know basically what they do but they have very little knowledge of the differences between the files so first one we're going to start with right here is your basic flat file it's got a uh, serrations on all four sides and uh, this is just for you know shaving down flat metal so you make a cut your cuts a little bit off it needs to be just a tad hair smaller you can use your flat file come in different sizes, different shapes, uh, with and without handles. This particular one does not have a handle. Right here is where the handle would go, because um, this is accessible. Handle comes off. There's usually a little collet on the end. Some have a screw on collet. Some are just pressed in. This one's not too fancy, so it's just pressed in. And it goes on the end. Obviously, this is the wrong size handle there. But you can see by the profile, that is a flat file. It's flat on all sides, on all edges. Then you come into square files. Uh, same thing as a flat file, just in a square shape. These are great for cutting uh, V notches into metal. If you have a little bit of a V you want to cut out, uh, the square file is great there. Um, you have round and half round files. This one here is a round file, completely round. Great for inside holes, um, you know, great for making a U-notch into something. If you need to have clearance for a bolt and you don't have a drill uh, or drill press that can successfully drill that hole, you can use a file to make that hole. When I do something like that, I usually start with a square file, cut a V-notch in it, and that'll help locate the round file. And then you have a half round. See, it's flat on one side round on the other uh, this is great for those gradual uh, gradual curves or if you're working on even a uh, reverse curve something that's um you know you're working on the exterior of the curve uh, you can go ahead and take a more even material off with this than you can a flat file in some circumstances so a little bit about files um, you also have rasps in there included it's a rasp is simply a file with much, much bigger teeth on it. Um, rasps are for removing heavier material, um, you know, larger, larger amounts of material. Uh, you can get metalworking rasps. You very rarely see them. They're mostly common in the wood realm. Uh, but in body work, you have a, a cheese grater type of uh, piece. And I actually don't have one of those because I don't do that much body work. But uh, the cheese grater like piece is a form of a rasp. So now we're going to get set up again and show you how to use some files. Okay, YouTube, we are back. Uh, now I have a piece of metal set up with the vise. That's just a piece of scrap. Um, it's that holy track stuff. I don't even know what the proper use for this stuff is, but... Really makes good uh, mock-up brackets and such, but uh, I just had a piece of this laying around. Here we have our square file. I'm going to show you how to start a notch for uh, a round file or just make a you know, V-notch in something for whatever reason you may need to. So uh, first thing you do is you take your file, lay it up against at a 45 degree angle. You can see uh, possibly by right there how the interface is working. And then give it a good push and a good backstroke. Uh, you should be able to see a little notch forming right about here. But we'll get it a little bigger for you then. Now you can see a decent V notch forming there. Uh, all it takes is a little back and forth. This is not going to be very straight in the manner I'm using it because I'm going at an angle here. If you want a perfect V-notch, you'll have to go in that manner. 
to get a more perfect V notch there. But this one's just a starter notch. We're gonna come by with the round file now. Completely round, you can see I'm spinning it. And we're now gonna go at a 90 degree angle. Okay, I gotta reposition my workpiece. So I didn't have room on that one. Now I just moved the workpiece a little bit more forward and uh, upward so I can actually get a full stroke on the file. You can see our notch is right here. Uh, yeah, you can barely see that on my camera screen, so hopefully it'll be better on YouTube. But you just take your file, run it 90 degrees. Now you can see we created a nice U-notch in there. You were watching when I was filing. I was holding on this side and on the handle side. Uh, that just gives you a little more control. If it's a control thing, go for it. If it's not, if you don't need that control, that precision, I, I, I would probably just stay with one way. But now you know how to cut a U-shaped notch with a round file using a square file as a starter here. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get out the flat file here. As you can see, flat file. And we're just gonna do some general filing. So let's just say this bracket, uh, let's say I wanna weld it. Now this is galvanized, okay? You can see that weird pattern, that's galvanized, it's zinc coated. You don't wanna weld that stuff, it's really nasty, it really truly is. Um, it causes all kinds of nasty stuff in your body. So yeah, you don't want to weld that. Well, but you need this piece of metal for whatever reason. We're going to go ahead and we're going to prep it for welding. All you do is you take your flat file, reposition it a little bit, obviously. In this case, I think we're going to have to go across the clamp. Let's just say around this U-notch. Can we see that? Yes, we can. So around that U-notch, we want to go ahead and we want to put in uh, a weld on either side of it. There's gonna be a hole there. So we notched it out for the hole for the bolt to clear or whatever Now we have either side where we want to go ahead and put a weld Well, don't weld onto the galvanized take your flat file here uh, You can see how I'm holding this with my finger up on the actual file on my hand around the handle Now that's one of the best ways to hold a file because it gives you the most control over it. this you can pivot this it's a lot harder to pivot. Other key when you're filing, keep your wrist straight. You're moving by the elbow and your shoulder. Elbow and shoulder. You're not moving your wrist. Keep your wrist straight. Now we're gonna go ahead and prep this for a weld. Okay, so I just filed down that galvanized coating on that outside edge. You can see how it's bare metal now. Uh, that's not enough. We got to go on the sides here too, up in this location. So we're going to go ahead and knock this down a bit. Now, I'm sure you want to stand here all day and watch me. And I'm not actually going to weld this so, but uh, you get the point. You can see where it's shinier up along these edges. That's where I hit it with the file. You can see it's shiny out here, too. This piece of metal isn't 100% flat. 
Um, that's another thing you can use a file for is flattening out a piece of metal. You have a machine surface, you need a machine surface, and you don't have something to make a machine surface. Take your file and you can flatten it out. See on this edge how it's nice and shiny. Um there we go. So you can see right here, see it goes from shiny where the zinc cone is worn off down to pretty dull where it's still on there. That difference there is filed to non-filed. Okay, now the workpiece is mounted back up. We have the half round. Flat on one side, round on the other. Um, we're just gonna go back in that same hole actually, so let's see if I can make that happen. So if you remember that little hole we had here, a little notch, a U-shaped notch. Now in this case, we're gonna make it a little bigger. If you want a larger bolt clearance, you know, you only need a quarter inch clearance on a half inch or five eighths bolt. Take your round file. Now remember, round files taper at the end. So the end's good for starting, but when you work, you wanna work in that section there. That section there is where you're gonna actually get the consistency out of it. There goes my handle. Little tip for you, if your handles don't have, they don't have the uh, collet that actually locks on, hammer them on the bench once or twice. I know you couldn't see that, but there you go. Hammer them good once or twice on the bench, and then that'll stick that handle into that wood. So now we're gonna file this out a little more. Get a good start here. After I'm starting, you can see I've worked my way down more for that more gradual curve. Now you can see the curve is much bigger and just for comparison, there's the round file. So you can see we made it a little bit bigger. Um, that right there, that whole process is a very good process to go ahead and to make that specific notch for, like I said, larger bolt clearance. You want that specific notch in there. Start with your square file, get a notch to hold your round file. Round file that out to about the depth you want, and then take off the side material as we just did with your half round file. So you can see the profile of this thing here. Hopefully that'll focus pretty well. See it's half round. So half round files make good for making a notch to clear just a portion of a bolt, just the threads. And then this bracket could be bolted into something and mount it up without any real issues. Uh, you know, so files are something that every shop should have. Most shops do have. Very few people know how to use. So just to give you a review again, how to hold a file, put your finger or your thumb up on the actual file and hold the rest of the handle. So if you hold it like that or like that, you're gonna get the best grip and the best stability. Next thing is, anything that's by hand, sanding or filing, or anything else, keep your wrist straight. Work your elbow, work your shoulder. Keep your wrist straight though. After that, you have one more tip, which is put your fingers on the other side just to keep guiding it. Um, light pressure for your starter strokes. Heavy pressure when you got that file where it needs to be and you just need to remove material. And if you don't have the file you need, you can always make something work. If you take the square file, for example, you can keep running the square file with the flat side, as you can see here, on the metal. And if you do that enough in the same spot, it's gonna put a square notch in there. Yeah, you know what? You need a round notch to clear the bolt. It's still functional. So again, last thing I wanted to 
reiterate, if you need a machine surface and you have no way to machine it, you can take your flat file like this, right over the top, file that down, and get yourself that nice, flat, machine kind of surface. Keep moving. You know, if you're looking for anything that you're just trying to file down, you're trying to remove lots of material like this, just keep moving. That's all you need to do. And it's going to eventually remove all the material you need. It'll take a while. And I don't want to put all that on this video, but now you can see that side right there. We've got a good bit of that uh, galvanized material off, and we're starting to flatten out this actual surface. Thank you for watching YouTube. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I think I'm gonna get into more uh, lesser known tools for these tool tip videos. So that being said, if there's something you have a question on how to use, uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get a video on it. Thank you for watching again. Keep tuned for our next installment.